In this video, we'll state some properties of the definite integral and justify them geometrically. Property one, the definite integral from A to A of f of x dx equals zero. As a justification for this, suppose we have a function and here's a. The area under the curve from A to A is just the area of this line segment. And the area of a line is zero. Property two, the integral from A to B of f of x dx plus the integral from B to C of f of x dx equals the integral from A to C of f of x dx. And again, just think of this geometrically. If here's A, here's a B, here's a C, the integral from A to B is this area here. The integral from B to C is that area there. And then of course the area from A to C is just these two areas combined. The third and last statement we're going to make in this video is more of a definition than a theorem. The way we've defined the integral has been on intervals from A to B, where A is the left end point and B is the right end point. So when you have an integral from A to B of f of x dx, this A is the smaller of the two numbers. It's the left-hand end point. We are going to define the integral from B to A from a larger number to a smaller number.
number. And we're just going to define it to be this integral with a negative sign in front of it. 